Remember my last Kenshi video where I tried to destroy those stupid Ocarin incels with the power of alcohol? Well, they put up with me and my crew until we recruited a couple skeletons to help till the fields. You see, in Kenshi, skeletons aren't those creatures hiding under the skin of every human. In this game, skeletons are the reason your father started drinking heavily after the divorce. Skeletons are distilled testosterone, raw sexual energy given form. And to be honest, I understand why those Ocarnites hate them with a passion. They're jealous. Skeletons are everything those Ocarnites could never be. They don't require food, they don't need sleep. They never need to fear cannibals because you can't eat the beautiful metal alloy chad bod of a skeleton. They don't need weapons because their entire body is a weapon. They don't require beds because they only sleep when they're done killing, which is never. The Ocranites pray to a chauvinistic god, and to be honest, they should just be praying to skeletons, man. They're indifferent to women in a way Ocranites could never be. They don't even have penises. Women aren't even something to be desired. They're literally worthless to a skeleton. Skeletons are focused on one thing and one thing only. Punching people in the throat with their metal fucking fists. What's more Chad-like than that? To get the Ocranites back for their prior transgressions, I'm creating a kill squad the likes of which have never been seen before on Kinchi. A squad entirely made up of skeletons. I call them the Chadbots. In order to fuck those incel Ocranites into the dirt, I gotta train their strength. I gotta hone their reflexes. I gotta turn them into martial art gods. Because by the end of this, the Holy Nation won't be praying in fear to Ocran. They'll be cowering and pleading for their life, hoping the Chadbots don't robo-fist them into the fucking dirt. Those of you asking if this game is good, only a good game could inspire such a vengeful quest. Only a good game could beat me like an ugly housewife, only to have me come crawling back. Because I can assure you, I wouldn't put up with this bullshit if this wasn't a good game. This, this is Kenshi. <laughs>what, just because I got some robot boys, all of a sudden, like, the Holy Nation attacks in mass? All right, fuck this. He's rage quit. I, I didn't rage quit. I'm starting a new game, all right? Fucking incels of Ocran, they won. They won. You're a fucking bitch, dude. You're not a chat. You know that, right? If you lose to an incel, you're not a chat. No, 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 no. I'm not. I'm no, not, not. I didn't lose to an incel. I'm just navigating. No, that's that's me. So, so that you're not I'm a chat. I'm coming back like a phoenix. Bigger and a better chad, than ever. If you're a chat, you just squish them. Dude, dude, you know how little of a chat you have to be to, to have your girl stolen? In this case, the girl is your city stolen by incels. Have you seen that starter thing where you get like five people and you're just down the middle of nowhere? Yeah. They're all skeletons. Chadbot, Bradbot, Chetbot, and Trentbot. <laughs> and then and then I got one to talk to the traders and he's just his name's Trader Dave and he's a human. <laughs> What's Stobe? Well, as soon as I spawn in, there's just uh No, these aren't skeletons, I'm sorry, I thought they were. And they're beating the shit out of Trader Dave. His arm's already shattered. <laughs> And everybody else is just running for the hills. You're dead. Trader Dave is gone. All he got is the Chad bots. Oh, I found the crab people you were talking about. Oh, wait, they're not friendly. <laughs> well, I'm fucking four minutes into my game and... Chad bots in prison. Chad bots enslaved. Trent bots enslaved. Trader Dave's dead and Brad bot is on a beach. Oh he got picked to death by a fucking crab. <laughs> Welcome to the world of Kenshi. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Jesus. I didn't fuck up that bad. I didn't fuck. All I did was walk 20 feet. Yeah. It's rewind time. So I'm pretty sure that the starving bandits won't even attack skeletons unless, you know, they're part of a squad with a human. Well, I got Trader Dave. <laughs> Probably change his name to Trader Dragging You Down. I should change his name to Foodless Dave. They would never attack a man named Foodless Dave. <laughs> AIDS Dave. That's, that's, hepatitis C Dave. I never think about touching him. Trader Dave has been enslaved. How? <laughs> he's just sho he's shuffling down the road with Trader with Dave over his shoulder. Yeah. Ah, rewind time. <laughs> No! I'm being eaten alive. What the fuck? Boop, 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 boop.
Trader Dave has died from blood loss. <laughs> Trader Dave is really good. Dude. At the L all day. He is. Just recruit a random human and. Rename, rename him, him Trader, Trader Dave. Dave. There you no, go. Trader Dave 2. Tradist Dave. <laughs> Tradist? It's a trader. I should start with Trade Dave. <laughs> Tra yeah. How is Trader Dave then? Tell me. Well, Trader Dave's dead. Huh. Chetbot, dead. What happened? Uh, I don't know about him. He just, he just. He gave up, I guess. Oh, I found robot to replace Trent Bot. What's a good like? Uh, what's a good like? Fucking douchebag fraternity, fraternity name, yeah. Oh, Kyle. Kyle. <laughs> yeah, Kyle. Kyle. No, Ky Kyle's cool as fuck. Trent oh, Bot's been fish. enslaved. What? <laughs> you are the worst at this game. I'm. I'm. <laughs> Sam, what? Uh, how? Who, who enslaved them? In the border zone. I'm right here outside Quinn or whatever, Squin, and they just they just walked away with him. <laughs> Maybe these Who the chef? No! Just some random people! <laughs> <laughs> he just got kidnapped. <laughs> Somebody issued an Amber alert for Trent Bot. Oh shit! I found another skeleton. What's another good uh, fraternity boy name? Wait, 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 wait. Most douchebag names. Hold on. Chad, Brad, <laughs> Trent, Chris, Brandon, Guy, just Guy, Paul, Blake, Brody, and Justin. Blake, oh, and Mike. <laughs> Blake, Blake, Blake. There's Mike, Zach, Chaz, Kyle. Yeah, oh, fuck. I already <laughs> named him. He should have been Chaz. All right. It's been several hours from the last update. I'm outside the city of Squin. Kind of a gross name, to be honest. I've made another little town. Get this, look at these guys, working away. I got a little ro- I got my Chad bots. My little robot buddies. The squad, so to speak. The alphas of the wasteland, working away tirelessly, day in, day out. We're getting stone. We're getting iron. We're getting copper. And I'm going to make a kill squad that is going to take out those fucking filthy incels that drove me out of my previous camp. By God, I'm gonna do it. I don't care what it takes. You take my word for it right now, right here. I am going to destroy them. Now, currently, I'm in the border zone. All right. Akron's pride is directly north of me. And that's where that previous city was, right about here. It doesn't matter what happens to these guys. They get attacked. You gotta, you just pull out the old Phillips head. Start working away on them. I don't have to, it's not like those fucking horrible humans I was dealing with before that would just, they were, oh, I got my leg cut off, now I can't walk. But these robots, you just screw it back on, dude. They are the alphas of the wasteland. Cranking away. What's that? What's that bar at the bottom? What does that say? Hunger? And then a dash. It's almost like hunger doesn't even fucking matter. Oh, this is coming along nicely. Look at this, I got a copper deposit inside my my walls i gotta build these fucking walls that's gonna take me like all day but that doesn't matter because uh you know i'll just ignore my daughter for like the rest of the night and uh start why does this take so long this game is the biggest time waster i'm spending i've spent like two days just trying to beat up a couple digital incels they just piss me off so much you know they just they just fucking piss me off. okay interesting idea because i can't f seem to find more skeletons out there right Perhaps I'll make a, a feudal hierarchy where the skeletons are the cream of the crop. They're the top dogs. They're, their role is to purely um, become chiseled veterans of hand-to-hand -hand combat. And then I will recruit people like this to be my mining bitches. Alright, so this one's, instead of Ruka, you're going to be renamed to... Um, Mining whore. All right, for the past like 10 days, there had, there's been like 20 of these ninja guys just hanging out in my house. They have been all over the place, so I had to hire two groups of mercenaries. Two! To whoop their ass. Look, even with my mercenaries, there's like too many of them. This is horrible, they're just beating the shit out of Blakebot. Wait, have they claimed my place as their own? Look, they're carrying my people out and chucking us on the ground. You know, eventually, they did kill every single ninja in here. 
and I ended up getting a lot of samurai swords because of it, which is pretty cool. What also is pretty cool is that I didn't have any fatalities. Believe it or not, Mining Whore is still alive. That's... Doesn't exactly look like a picture of uh, health to me. Alright, buddy. Now that I got 10,000 bucks from selling all these stupid things, I can purchase you. 6,000 cats, you're hired. Your new name? Wait, no, Chazbot. I think Chazbot died. Chazbot 2. Oh, this lady wants to be an honored warrior among my people. Well, that's not gonna happen. Because you're mining whore for. Yeah! Pump that iron! Get that get that strength up! Yeah, I've been playing this game so long, my voice is fucked up. Like I not from the game. I mean I got sick. <laughs> I got robots with sparring partners. And they're gonna sit inside these little shacks and beat the shit out of each other using hand-to-hand -hand combat. This will get their martial arts skills up really high. And they will, they're gonna, dude, they, when they get out, they're gonna be Bruce Lee's, but in robot form. This is taking forever. Imagine this from, like, the prisoner side. You're in, you live day and night in a cage, and then every couple days, they drag you out. These giant metal robot guys beat the shit out of you. And then they, after your legs and arms are broken, they throw you back in the cage and heal you up. And when you're back to fighting form, they just, they come and start doing swan kicks and shit, breaking your arms again. <laughs> Look at this guy. This guy knows what's coming to him. He's like, dear Lord, how do I get out of here? <laughs> get up, you son of a bitch. I know you're playing dead. Come get your beating at the hands of Chazbot. Show that motherfucker who's boss. Fuck him up. Ah! He doesn't know what to do. Double fall, double flying kick! Oh, fucking dear God. I don't even know if I can beat these guys. Uh, I'm gonna need everybody in here. Everybody in here. Okay, I think what I need to do is just set everybody to block. And then, and then I'm gonna let my turret guys do their thing. Oh my God, they actually wiped them out. Look at all of them. Ah! Oh! Mom! Mom, get the camera! Mom! What are you doing? Oh, he's acting like he wasn't picking that lock. I know that's what you were doing. His hands were jingle jostling at the lock. Oh my god, look at him. These guys are so fucking badass. Oh my god, look at him sitting in the background, dude. The chadbots are on another level of coolness. All right, while I was in town, I actually found a map. Wait, that's an engineer's map. Glorious holy map. Right click to learn the new map locations for all the cities of Ocran. That includes their holy farms, their holy military bases, their holy mines, and uh, bad teeth. I don't, know. I don't know if that's a town name or if, or if I'll just know where everybody is that has bad teeth. <laughs> <laughs> I think I should probably attack a holy mine just to see, you know, if I got what it takes. Oh, here we go. Alright, this is an actual fight. The holy nation are now hostile toward- they were hostile from the get-go, don't even act like they weren't. We just destroyed those incels like it was nothing. Did you see that? Hey, this one goes out to our Ocran boys. They fought valiantly. You know, if you sympathize with them and or are an incel yourself, feel free to purchase this beautiful shirt from the Shekel Scheme located in the description. It'll keep your penis dry and miles from any vagina or your money back. The Shekel Scheme. Really? I spent all this time uh, lockpicking a chest and it's just full of Bibles. The little boy that got dismembered by skeletons. The number one best-selling children's book of today. Little Timmy liked climbing trees and playing hide-and-seek with his friends, but he always skipped on his prayers. Then Timmy met his first skeleton. I'm stealing these. The masters are dead? You're goddamn right they are. Pick those locks, buddy. Get out of there and be somebody. Go start up a nice flower business like you've always wanted. 
All right, so I got a couple escaped slaves that are now just, they're not mine, but they're following me. One of them has a really cool mustache. Well, that was easy. That entire place just got wiped out like it was nothing. Mm, I'm in the belly of the beast now. Who are these guys? Caravan guard for the holy nation. In other words, free shit for me. Once they start kicking, dude, it is all over. By the way, you see all that blood? Yeah, uh, robots don't bleed. Like it was nothing. That entire caravan is just gone. I've sacked two holy mines and one trading caravan. Now, I'm going to go. I know this isn't going to work, but I'm going to go see what bad teeth is. And I'm going to save before I get there. And I'm going to see if I can take on a town. That's the town, dude. I found a couple. Uh, uh, oh, they raised the alarm already. That's not good. Okay, these guys might be harder asses than I thought. Four, five of all of them knocked out. Oof. Uh oh, they're carrying us away. Okay, I might have to reload on that one. Yeah. After that monumental failure, I talked to some people in the Discord that play this game. And this guy told me, he just sent me a map. He was like, hey, what I'm doing is I'm sending you to a place that has something that might help you on your journey. Uh, to this place right here. It's not far from uh, Skinner's Rome and Ocran's Pride. Oh, it's a place called Labs. What the fuck? Oh my god. Is this what I wanted? Look at all these skeletons. They just called me Master. Oh my. They're called the Broken Ones. <clears throat> not only was this place full of super expensive stuff, but now I got like Chadbot Squad 2000. It's like a goddamn, uh, it's like a, a pack of rabid dogs. Oh Jesus, they viciously kill everything in sight and I can't really control them. Oh, don't worry. Don't worry, I got plenty of robot repair kits. I will repair everybody. Everybody will be fixed. Okay, this is it, dude. We, we There's no way we can lose now. Apparently, I can pick it up on my back. Jesus Christ, how fucking strong are these things? So I, I had to test out this army, you know? So I found a big roaming band of uh, starving bandits. And, uh... They, uh... Yeah, they, they're pretty good. <laughs> it's the slaughter. They don't even have a chance. Or last time I got my ass kicked over here at the front, but this time I'm going in through the back. You know what I'm saying? That little tight entrance, it's a little bit smaller. It's their worst nightmare, you fucking Bible thumpers. Jesus Christ. Look at these guys getting wailed on by a bunch of sexy skeletons. This, a letter from a freedom fighter. Sister Fu. Which, by the way, Sister Fu is the lady that I recruited in the bar who I've now renamed Mule. And all she does is she just carries stuff for me. You don't even have a name anymore. Or a sister. You must move quickly. Rented was purged in the town square today for being without an escort in the night. They're on to us. They know about our meetings. The Inquisitor will be carrying out a search at dusk. Wait for me at our place outside the city walls. It's time. Oh, apparently they were they were having some sort of resistance coup. Well, I kind of fucking thwarted that because I killed her sister and then I renamed her Mule. Oh, this guy's the Inquisitor. He's the top guy in the old place. Jesus, no wonder he's whooping everybody's ass. Oh, they got him. Destroy him. Actually, no, 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 no. I'm sorry. I want you to do first aid on this guy. Make sure he's not gonna die. And the Inquisitor is gonna be my new bitch. Kidnap him. <laughs> I got the leader of this of this city. This Akron City, he is now going to be my sparring partner. There she is. And here's my invading party. Not quite as big as the one that took out the other place, but, uh, you know, I'm going to have to make do. So don't talk shit. Problem. Blister Hill, <clears throat> I think, is the seat of the entire Holy Nation. 
and they it's kind of like a city that has another military city within it. So anyways, I'm going to try to draw them out a little bit at a time. And I'm definitely going to save before this because this is going to be a one rough fight. 12 seconds later. No, no, no. I've been kidnapped. Kyle Bot and Chetbot's been kidnapped. Okay, this this might not be going the way I thought it was going to go. Bradbot, get your fat ass in there. Oh my god. My skeletons are getting outnumbered. What the hell, dude? They, there are so many of these fucking incels. What the hell? What? If you're wondering why I'm in the middle of the desert, I did that tester attack against, uh, against Blister Hill and ended up dying. And so then I, I restarted and went to, uh, I was passing by one of those holy farms and there was like three roaming bands of holy nation paladins. And they came together and killed all those little robots that were following me. So now I have no chance of taking Blister Hill unless I have an alternative. And thankfully, I do have a fucking alternative. I got the Chad Crabs. 